This is Scratch. It has a few main areas. The palette, where you can drag the programming blocks onto the script area. The menus, the top area, and the stage, and the sprite box. So the first thing we're going to look at is the menus. This button sets the language that you view it in. By default it's set to English. This button saves the project. This button uploads it to the Scratch website. This is the file menu. In the file menu you can create a new project, open a project that you've been working on before, save a project that you're working on, and save the project that you're working on uh, specifying the name, etc. You can import a project, export a sprite, um, edit the project notes, or quit. In the edit menu, you can undelete a block or script that you've deleted, start single stepping, set the single stepping that you want, compress the sounds, compress the images, or show motor blocks for use with the um, Lego interface. The share menu, you can share the project or go to the website and you can view the help page, screens, and about Scratch. The top area here, you can edit the title of the sprite, set if it is draggable on the website or not. You can view where it is and what direction it is pointing, how it rotates, and set which pane you're viewing. By default it's set to the scripts pane, but in the costumes pane you can edit what costumes the sprite has, and copy them, delete them, and uh, uh, I'll just give them eyebrows. Um, you can reorder them. In the sounds palette, you can record new sounds, import uh, sound files from your computer, play and stop uh, sound files that are already part of the sprite. This area shows the start and stop buttons, the green flag and the stop. Um, the stage is the background basically and it shows you all of the sprites and what they look like in the program at the moment. In the sprite box you can create new sprites, open sprites, or generate a random sprite from the scratch interface. To delete it you can either right click or control click if you're using a one button mouse, delete, or you can use the scissors tool and click on the sprite. Um, and the in this area you can view the title and how many scripts a, a sprite has and uh, go back and forth between which sprite you're editing. In the palette area, there are many blocks which you can use to do your actual programming with. The motion palette has blocks that control movement. The control palette has blocks that start stop and generally edit the scripts. The looks palette uh, changes the way the sprite looks, obviously, uh, either changing costumes, saying things, or changing 
the color effect, for example. The size, showing and hiding, and the layer that it's in. The sensing palette can sense if it's touching colors, touching other sprites, or the edge or mouse pointer. You can ask questions in Scratch 1.4. You can see the mouse X, Y, if the mouse is clicked or not. If a key is down, the distance to a sprite or the mouse pointer. Uh, you can use the timer, find various attributes of a certain uh, sprite. You can sense the loudness if it is if the computer has a microphone, and if you have uh, the scratch board uh, an Arduino uh, attached to the computer, you can use these to sense the buttons or slider values. In the sound palette, you can play sounds that you have here. Stop sounds, set the volume, play notes, set the instrument that you're in, etc. The operator's palette has math and uh, that sort of thing. You can do all the basic functions, including square roots, sine, cosine, and all of these. You can round numbers. Um, see if something and something else is true. If a number is greater or less than or equal to something. The pen palette, each sprite has a pen attached, so to speak. Um, you can clear the entire pen interface, put the pen down or up, set the pen color, size, shade, or stamped the sprite. The um, To preview what a block does, you can either double-click on it or shift-click. This also works when after you've dragged them into the script area. Finally, the variables palette. You can make variables set if they are viewable for all sprites or just for this sprite, which can be handy if you have many variables in the project. Once you have a variable, you can check if it's visible or not and change what it is. Lists are like uh, multiple variables in one. You can change what it is for all sprites or just for this one, like the variables. Change what is in them, as you can see over here. Uh, delete items, uh, sense what item such and such of the list is, or if it contains such and such. 